Fetch.ai is a fake artificial intelligence project. It doesn't really focus on artificial intelligence, even though it's called Fetch.ai. And I think the reason for this is simply to get investors money, to ride the AI wave and to collect money for the FET token. Now, now these are pretty strong accusations, but bear with me, follow me through this video. And I will also at the end of this video share what I personally think is a better alternative to fetch.ai. So we're going to look at the fundamentals, at the research that I've done, and we're also going to look afterwards at the technicals, at, for example, holder growth. We're going to look at the momentum behind the token. Maybe it makes sense to just short term flip it, right? To try to buy it now when every, everybody's looking at the whole token. Maybe we can ride the wave for a short term. So we're going to look at various aspects of the project. But first things first, right? Fetch.ai is known to be an AI related project. They sell themselves here on CoinMarketCap as an artificial intelligence lab building an open, permissionless, decentralized machine learning network with a crypto economy, right? So AI and crypto, that's kind of the idea. Now, you do want to do your research. You do want to know who's behind all of this. And then we've got the director behind this. Here she calls herself the director of business development, uh, Maria Minariakova. Okay. She held a presentation here. It's a three month old roughly. It doesn't really focus that much on what Fetch AI is doing. It's selling other kinds of projects um, in this whole context. So it looks at some kind of a Catena X project. It looks at a co-learn project, not really that much related directly to Fetch.ai. When we look at her background in LinkedIn, we see she's been working for Fetch.ai four and a half years so far. And before that was working for a blockchain panel for the European Union and also was involved in a finance related university, right? The Frankfurt School of Finance. She was involved here as a mentor for blockchain related stuff. So not really AI, it's mainly crypto. So we can go through the relative valuations and the holder growth. But before we do this, let's actually look at the project itself. When I looked at this website, my very first impression was basically red flags everywhere. And the problem that I see when you look at this website is the very first CTA, the very first call to action you have here is get FET. Okay, so you're you should get their token. That's the very first thing they want you to do when you look at their website and they tell you where you can buy the token. You can buy it in all kinds of centralized exchanges, of course, and also on decentralized exchanges. So that's the first call to action. The second call to action, if you already know how to buy it, is what is FET in the first place? And here you simply just get explanations for what's staking and what's a wallet, what kind of a wallet can you use? Again, it's super much steered towards the investors, right? To the people that buy this. It's not steered towards the developers. It's not ste steered towards the potential partners or any kind of business behind it. It's simply just collecting money from investors. That seems to be the focus of the fetch.ai website. So let's just dive a little bit deeper and see what we else find. We find a roadmap on this page. It's supposed to be updated in early Q1 of 2023. Hasn't happened so far, right? It's middle of Q1 2023. And we do see a few things such as, for example, a DEX launch. Um, the Fetch.ai project itself has its token on uh, Ethereum. It also has its native token on its own blockchain. Okay, so there's the Cosmos SDK. Several blockchains have been built uh, based on Cosmos and uh, the fetch.ai blockchain is no different. So they also have their own blockchain explorer, etc., all based on Cosmos. This is their DEX, right? The decentralized exchange bot swap, it is called. And then they also have their own little wallet. When you look at the fetch wallet, it has, down, has been downloaded so far um, 7,000 times. It has been rated 33 times, maybe by the employees, um, I haven't used it myself, but it doesn't seem to be, um, you know, that useful. 7,000 people isn't really a big number here either. Okay, so let's go to the ecosystem. Here we uh, get mentioned Colon again, Exim, AtomX, just a few other projects, Catena X that was also mentioned before. 
The Discord channel is somewhat active. So here we've got around 300 people. And when we look further, here we've got the Blockchain Explorer. Okay, so this is how many uh, transactions are being performed on the native blockchain. The inflation of the token, apparently, according to the Blockchain Explorer, is 3% per annum, which isn't too bad, right? This is pretty good for an altcoin. Now, here comes the GitHub repository, and this is what a lot of people are not looking at. GitHub repositories are um, basically buckets of code where people can submit open free uh, open source code to and you can collaborate with other people basically building a project together. And here you see the micro agents repository that's been used the most. You see so far five people in total are committing to this repository. So that's all the programmers so far uh, devoted to fetch.ai. Uh, but there are quite a few repos, right? There are basically 68 projects where some kind of code has been committed to with some kind of activity as well, right? This is the Cosmos Explorer that we just looked at. Uh, most activity apparently is around the micro agents. So let's go to the developer documentation. I'm not expecting you to understand developer documentations. I have an IT background, so for me, these kind of things are interesting, but you don't really need to know that much developer related stuff here. It simply just gives you an overview, first of all, how this is technically built up. And the main component of Fetch AI is the AEA network, the AEA registry, where you can see all the kinds of components for their peer to peer network. So let's look at this registry. So AEA stands for Autonomous Economic Agent. And these are little programs that run on your computer. So you download one of these little agent programs and these programs can then automatically do transactions against the blockchain. Okay, so it's basically little small bots and they can talk to one another apparently. And the whole idea behind this is simply that you've got autonomous bots that do something. Now, this is basically what the whole uh, innovation is all about. It's just programs, peer-to-peer -peer programs that are self-hosted, that communicate with one another. And the question is, how well does it work and how much artificial intelligence is in there? There is a little bit. So what we can see here, by the way, these counts here are wrong, right? We see here 359 connections. You click on it. Uh, you get 20 connections. These are the data connections that can feed into those little bot programs. You see one little connection that is related to AI. And that's here, the gym connection to the open AI gym. Okay, so this is this little API over here. This is where fetch.ai can get some kind of machine learning capability. But that's about it. If you look at all the other connections that these little programs can get. It's Google Calendar. It's a, a connection to an email client. It's a connection to just, you know, an API REST client. It's nothing that's like, uh, that's any kind of inno no cutting edge uh, innovation at all, right? It's just mail and calendar and data transfer. And it's simply just these small little programs that can potentially talk to one another, but do they really do anything useful? That's the question. Now, how do you host these little programs? You can download them. So let's look, let's go back here again. Let's look at these agents. Okay, these are the programs that you can run. They say, first of all, on the overview page, they say you've got 1,007 agents. <laughs> it looks like a typo because it's uh, 107 agents. So I'm not sure if somebody manually typed this in. Um, these are the little programs that you can download. And then you can run them on your computer using the AEA manager. Now I've tried to do this. So I downloaded that manager. I tried to run this. When you do this, you first have to install Python as well. You have to install um, VS uh, Studio. You have to install all kinds of stuff. Um, when you then try to run it, I have it here now on Windows 11. It uh, fails upon uh, loading. Okay, so I can't actually do anything with it. Um, I watched a few YouTube videos around this manager and it simply just shows you how to put this program into this little interface and you can start and stop it. Um, that's about it. And then there's like this big grandiose vision that's being sold that these managers, they could do all kinds of things, right? They could 
take care of the courier related work they could take care of buying tickets or organizing plane tickets or, or whatever it is right a lot of grandiose claims which i do not see here when i look at these kind of agents right there is nothing in here that gets me excited whatsoever there's like weather agents and and that kind of stuff yeah right simple weather buyer temperature lookup um, that's what you see okay so so this is the first impression that i had all of uh, with all of this there seems to be something going on that there is some kind of technology right it's not like nothing but the focus of the founders here definitely is not to to progress that technology and to really do anything especially ai related right where you have a lot of data you train a data set to to accomplish a certain task when you look for example at the um, thumbnail of this video right this was true ai being used right i used um mid journey for that right i just looked for a broken destroyed damaged sad robot burning in fire with explosions atomic bomb whatever right this is what i got i find this is relatively eye catchy right like it's kind of representing how this ai is broken this whole idea of ai for fetch.ai is really true but ai does have its place right this is useful right you can generate pictures you can also use chat gpt you can get some answers ai does have its use cases but you need to properly build it and what fetch.ai is doing is not necessarily building any ai they've got one implementation with um jim that's about it and everything else they do is just peer-to-peer -peer programs talking to one another layered on top um, with a connection to a cosmos sdk based blockchain that's about it right they also have a dex and this blockchain here has apparently 300 million locked so far but that's about it so that's the overview about that now let's look at the relative valuation though right so you don't just want to make all your investments based um, on fundamentals because very often fundamentals and price can decouple quite a bit if there's simply just one big youtuber that's pushing something high right that's that's really market it's marketing a certain crypto project a lot of people just buy in right completely uh, mindless without doing their own research now let's look at this how is fetch.ai doing they are actually since beginning of the year going up quite a bit 350 percent so far since the bottom in uh, november of 2022 they went up by 600 percent so the performance in itself wasn't bad at all if you look at the relative performance to ethereum so fetch to ethereum also very very nice right a 460 percent increase now where does this come from of course from the ai hype if you want to buy an ai token you obviously want to buy something that has ai in its name it's similar to the dot-com bubble right some companies they simply just renamed themselves they called themselves xyz.com suddenly got all investor money and the stock prices went up it's kind of similar now everybody looks at ai and so fetch.ai in crypto seems to be the place to go when you look at the holder growth right when you look at the eve based fed token how did this develop we can see that since november of last year the number of holders went from 20,000 to currently roughly 27,000. now there might be a few more holders i put a limit here of minimum balance uh, 10 tokens okay so when you look at the wallets that have at least 10 fet tokens which isn't a lot of money right this is like four dollars and um, that's the number of holders you currently see so that's where you see the price appreciating, appreciating coming from. So what, what I find interesting around this effect also, right, what you need to be aware of is the number of holders here, they did not even increase by 50%, right? It went from 20K up to, say, 27K, right? So it went up by roughly, what is that, 40% or so? But the price itself, it went up way more than 40%, right? The price itself relative to Eve went up by 400%. So I've got a real leverage effect here. When, when there's attention on something, the price can really, really explode. And when there isn't attention, then the existing holders might sell off, especially the early investors. And even though the number of holders is increasing slightly over time, when the early insiders are selling, that's when you still see the price declining quite a bit, right? Let's look at this top to bottom so far. This is relative to EVE, minus 90%. 
why do I look at this relative to if? Because this is how you can kind of distill the idiosyncratic movements, right? You, when, when all crypto is going up, of course, FET token is going up as well. And when all uh, tokens go down, FET joins the party. But when you divide the token performance by, say, Bitcoin or Ethereum, you have less of that effect. You have more of the FET specific price movements. And that's what we see here. A really steep increase simply because people join the party and this is still rising fairly quickly. So I'm not saying at all that the fetch AI token needs to go down in price now simply because there's so much attention on AI itself. But what I think is a better choice is to simply uh, to, to still bet the money on the project that's also fundamentally sound. So there are AI tokens that have very charismatic people behind them, that have a strong, very active network of projects behind them. And that's actually what the next video is about. So directly after this video, you're going to see the thing that I personally in the crypto AI space I invest in. Before you go to this video though, one more thing, there is a Telegram channel that's to be seen here at the uh, bottom, right? When you look here at the bottom, you see a Bitcoin strategy channel. Simply search for that within the Telegram app. There we can discuss a few crypto projects. Maybe you've got one that you would like to get analyzed. Simply uh, hit me up there on Telegram. So looking forward to see you in that Telegram chat. And of course, looking forward to see you in the next video, right? The AI project that I actually invest in. Thanks for watching and see you there. Bye-bye.